So, hello everyone, welcome to time for Pirate Princess Fina, Fina Pirate Princess, or maybe only like Fina the Young Lady, or the yeah. whatever. Amazing episode 1 and 2, the best episode 1 and 2 I think generally, right? The bonk scene was like, bonk is the best, go to horny yell woman, yeah that was the best <laughs> bonk ever. She's like, oh, it's you, my dream, love boom. <laughs> he's like, shut up, woman, you're so annoying, he's like, smacks her in there. Oh no, not this lady. Um, but it was so good. I was so surprised that Crancer or Original could be good. No, but I mean, as I mentioned, get of high school, right? Sorry, OG, so right? That was good uh, for where it was. And then we have X Arm and so on, right? And they're all just terrible. And we have Garden of, uh, as I mentioned, of course, last week, yeah, Guardian, High Spice, or whatever. It doesn't come yet, but I mean, you see the trailer, it's the worst thing ever. Um, yeah, not to dwell on that too much, right? But like, Garden, High, and Spice is like. Little Music in the Media, whatever, right? Just, just, you know, done in a cartoonish way. Yeah, done like a Western way, you know what I mean? Like, it just looks way boring. I am absolutely gonna react and view that anime. Certainly gonna view God and High Spice whenever it arrives, but it's just like, you can see it from how it looks. There's like a Steven Universe crossed up with uh, Little Music in the Media, right? To Michael Eve or something like that. Kind of weird thing. That means I actually like TV Universe. I'm gonna be I actually like TV Universe. Yeah, the first like five seasons. <laughs> the last season is terrible. It ends terribly, uh, TV Universe. I think it's really good in the beginning. And then when they meet the diamonds, his, his aunts and that shit, then it gets really bad because he's redeemed. He's like, they're like genocidal mass murderer. He's like, whatever, I hide my aunt. Or she's like, my friend now. It's really stupid. It's really stupid in TV Universe. It ends terribly. And then it gets like a spin off the later years which is also terrible so it's just like it, it, it drops the ball massively but anyway this anime though is amazing but i think it's one thing i'm going to come to here from my <laughs> opening here it's very westernized right it's very westernized it does it feels like this is an anime but you can feel like there is definitely is some point of like i keep saying it for the east just argument but it feels very distant right it's like mulan cutting her hair uh, the Yanner adventure type of her, like the, the daughter gonna get to the, for her father's treasure, her, her one piece. It is definitely felt a very Disney presentation of it. And the scene where she was like fighting them, like in her underwear, right? Instead of having, you know, like the typical anime pansu, she had like Disney bloomers, right? So it looked less etchy, right? Yeah, so it didn't look as sexy. It looks, it, I mean, it looks fine. I mean, I'll say it was bad. I think it looked fine. And then if, if anything, it actually looks more realistic because why would a good woman run around you know, in a tight, you know, pantsu kind of thing in the medieval times? So, if anything, the anime actually looked more realistic because they had the, the kind of the ugly bloomers. That's probably more actually real, right? But it still felt like the reason why they're doing that is probably because it's like kind of crunchy, yeah, like a kind of Western and Disney kind of feel to it. So, uh, I think the episode it really was a 10 10 in my opinion, absolutely amazing episode one and two. But I'm just saying that, I mean, yeah, I was surprised, genuinely surprised how good it was, right? I think, again, the best Crunch and All original I've seen ever, like, really, the best so far. Unless if I forget, if I guess if I forget so, but of the only I can think about this, is by far the best one. Um, but just the whole idea that, that it has some Western influence, right? Like, or High Spice or whatever, yeah, it definitely is there. Definitely is there. That being said, though, this is like... I haven't even, I mean, I only see the trailer. I mean, the High Spice isn't out yet, right? But if you just compare them to this anime, it's like, this is how you do a good female character. You know, she's funny, she has a great personality, she's very likable, right? You, know, you immediately love this main character, she's so likable. Her plans, is, this is so funny, yeah, she's just a likable main character. You love her immediately. Then I see the trailer of High Spice, I'm like, oh, I hate them all. I just hate this female main character. This is the most typical PC SCV, just boring, flat main character. Right? Maybe I'm wrong though, right? Maybe you're gonna watch the anime when it finally arrives, and we're gonna compare them. But I can, I can say almost here without like 99% chance, Fina, that's a great female main character, and whatever that character's name is in High Spice, that's a horrible female main character. Right? I, can, I can see it immediately from the trailer. This is gonna be, this anime is 10 million times better. And, um, but for me, it's kind of funny when they have this shoehorning. Really weird, you know, yeah, politics in their animes, right? And this anime is like, this anime just works perfectly. A, you can almost have a good female main character. It's no problem. There's so many animes with great female main characters. Um, but, or you can have a really bad one. And, and I think it's, it's fun that the Japanese people they do it much better. Anyway, that's a too, too long review opening again. But I think it's a good, 
It, it definitely still is the thing is anime. Though. It feels like a Disney anime, right? Uh, very much so. But let's watch it. So three, two, one, and go. But I mean, it's amazing. But it's like the best uh, Riddle ever done, right? But it really, it has this like weird touch to it where you feel like this is done in, in Japan. But if I can really feel how it's like watered by the by the American stuff, yeah, like it really has that. Um, doesn't feel like a hundred percent anime, right? Speak. I, I can sense that Western you know influence on it it's heavily, heavily, heavily. It still is really good. Though. I'm just saying. I mean, it's really good. But I'm like, oh, it's like Alvida something <laughs> pirates. Oh, I see. It's like a female pirate or something. Yeah, it's like a pirate. It's like Alvida. Just a hot navy guy. He's clearly some kind of like intelligent navy guy, yeah, hot, attractive navy guy. Um, clearly. Hmm, yeah, okay, it's like a pidion uh, with the... Oh, Utni, okay. Yeah, I mean, this, oh, this anime looks so amazing. It's probably the best animated season. It's so beautiful opening and ending. Like, it's so high quality. Um, that definitely makes the anime. <laughs> no, I was like, I I seen the trailers before I watched the anime last week, but I was I wasn't expecting X arm right. But I was like, crash the rigging. I was like, I'm on the laundry scheme. <laughs> That's what I'm used to. Yeah, aren't they mostly Monday laundry? Then this anime is like, oh, it's so beautiful. God damn, Russian ID to bring out the A game. And you're like, what well, what's happening? This is way too pretty for bringing your crash the rigging on. This is so pretty. Um. Yeah, whole course here in the opening. Oh, but the opening, I mean, goosebumps. The opening is so pretty. It's so pretty, the opening. Yeah, it's so pretty. It's like beautiful. Like, it is amazing a number of frames and the quality of the the colors. Well. I don't think the song is very. Uh, yeah, I, I wouldn't say the song is anything. I'll oh, look at that. That's uh, Aoyuki. <laughs> yeah, it's me <laughs> That's. That's uh, I'm a spider, me ninety girl. Yeah, there's definitely her voice there. I immediately heard it was her. I mean, she talked to Fita last week. I was like, oh, it's our oh, oh, Yuki. Yeah, it's, it's so much her. Her voice is just like she's in so many animes though. She's like in every goddamn anime. She's like she's like the voice of like every. Half. I think she's seriously in like every anime by now. She's like Jesus Christ, man. The end is back. Yeah, she's such a common voice actor now. Who's this guy though? Um. Now it's the rich. Uh... Oh, nice! So still some hot. I mean, some really hot uh, a bay pirate he has there or something. Navy pirate. Maybe she's maybe maybe she's a navy. Maybe she's some pro navy lady. Hinasha or something. Oh, they finally mentioned a country, England. In the last episode, I was like, "What? What country is it supposed to be? Oh, it's England. It's supposed to be British." Well, wow, okay, makes sense. Yeah, I can leave it that. The question was because they have the Japanese island, but then the island is like a magical island, so. Like, this woman is. Okay, there's some badass uh, pirate lady, something that has. She's a. Yeah, so they have like a submarine thing going on without a turret or something that I'm talking about last week, so they have like a pretty bad weaponry. Unless they have like torpedoes, which is even more advanced. <laughs> yeah, it's immediately her voice. I'm a mecha girl. This anime. This <laughs> is like, shut up. Was it a pansu? No, but I'm just like, come on. This is our Yuki. It just sounds exactly the same every anime. I like Bonito. Okay, shut up, woman. Yeah, it's like. It's the loner guy, you know, main character, loner boy. He wrecks you too! He wrecks every woman! He's the freaking bonker guy! He's just a bonker! Yeah, me too pretty! Yes! He bonks up with so pretty! <laughs> I love his anime! Sukka Sukka! Yeah, he bonks on hot ladies, I get it, yeah. You and me, girl, we are so attractive! Yeah, it's like, god damn it. Yeah, I can't fight with my freaking wedding dress, man. But he's so beautiful in that. But I can't fight in the wedding dress! Come on, man! Yeah, I can't fight in my freaking wedding dress! But, yeah. Free of course, it's, you know, not 
controlled by countries, and even though the guy, they say like, oh, so England does control them. <laughs> you know? You said that England does control them though, but... Yeah, so back in the day, so they had a lot of free cities, right? Uncontrolled. And then you also have cities that are city-states, that are like a valley and so on, right? That are not really... They're, they're, not, they're, not, they're not free per se, but they're definitely free, but they're not... But actually, a free city is also another thing, which is like a German city that's like a... I hate to Japan, but yeah, I love this the typical Japanese gamer right view. <laughs> He's always like that. He's always depressed, yeah. <laughs> non do it's always like that, yeah. <laughs> he's, uh, he always loses the game, yeah. Okay, so he, his life sucks, man. Okay. Nice, yeah. Because, oh, wow. Oh, she's so kawaii, man. Really, spider babe, yeah. Yeah, so free city, right? But they actually have a lot of free cities in, in, in Germany, which are free because they're under the whole Roman Empire control, but they're kind of free as having not a print. They're like a one city state thing. So, they're, they're, so in this, during this medieval time, there's a lot of different, like, free cities. They have that thing. They have the city status like Venice and Floor and so on. And then you have these like island cities that are also kind of like free ish because they kind of have their own controls since they're kind of created by the different colonial powers, right? So this is actually extremely, in, in history, this is extremely complicated because these cities are usually not very free. They usually have different contracts with different other countries. So it might be like you are free here, free. So long as you're part of the British, or maybe British, Sweden, and Denmark empires, then it's fine. But if you're from Spain, you can't be there because the British are fighting a war with the Spain, it's like a war. So these are usually incredibly complicated, honestly, because it's like, you know, you have the, like in Shishibukaya, you have the whole pirates that are allowed to be pirates, but are actually marines, right, fighting for the other countries. And so, anyway, I'm, I'm gonna stop it, but. History, this this case is all incredibly interesting because they're, they're like so so complicated. But here we go, yeah, hot boys, right? Yeah, and a lot of ladies. And no money. Oh, it's in the house. Oh, -hoo -hoo! oh, I put it that way. She's thirsty. Yeah, I say it's in the house. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you're a pretty boy. It's fine. <laughs> He's like, yeah, you both idiots. <laughs> it's like. I love it though, he's like, I'm gonna smash. Yeah. Again, that is great because the guys they wanna have sex there, yeah. <laughs> For once, the cat are afraid of smashing the woman. Of course, they lost her. She's a crazy princess. She's like, woohoo! She's like, I gotta buy clothes, man. Yeah. Man, the quality is so high, anime. Anyway. The quality is amazing. This is insane quality animation. Jesus Christ. Crazy animation quality. It's crazy. Yeah, she's that white, super white lady, yeah. She's like... But she's, I guess she's English, right? Something like that, given what it's mentioned there. The hat looks terrible. No? Okay, this looks the freaks. That's pretty cute. <laughs> the pineapple. It does look like a pirate. Okay, she gets like a pirate scarf thing. Yeah, you can't have... This looks good. That's pretty good too. Ah, too much. <laughs> That's it. There we go. Yeah, I like the opening thing. Or uh, yeah, there we go. Not a pirate lass. Yeah. Yeah, again that montage going here. And he has to just <laughs> clean the. <laughs> he has to stay clean the and <laughs> clean the boat. <laughs> he's depressed. The dog is happy now. He's like, oh, I hate you, stupid dog. You like everything. Yeah, and he always loses his game, right? Yeah, he loses his game every time. Yeah, he's depressed because he never wins this game, man. He's so bad at it. Yeah. Well, now her short hair makes more sense than this uh, with scarf here. Wow. What is this thing? Just did see something in the shop there. Some game stuff. I, mean, I guess you could, yeah, show him the... It looks similar, but could it be the same thing? Maybe you need all of those things. 
Maybe you need a collector like a puzzle. <laughs> yeah, the wrong name there. Oh, uh, yeah. I don't know the twin names. Come on, don't blame me for that. Oh, no, he's like, I want some booty. Got some booty, man. Yeah, you know. Opice, buttocks. Come on. Nice. This is a uh, man of culture. See, I like this guy, he's like, come on, give me some booty, yeah, come on. Yeah, so I liked her. Yeah, so Karin has invented lighter. Yeah, was it really an insult though? He's like, I wanna smash her. I think it was more a, a compliment. <laughs> was it really an insult? He's like, I wanna do, I wanna booty, yeah, pay with your booty. I don't really see it as um, as an insult. Come on, it's, it's a, you know. But yeah, that one isn't as perfect as the one as the folder has. German glass, eh? I mean, yeah, it's like the, there's a lot of industry, paper industry in German that makes glass, though, in the times. Hmm. <laughs> My sense of tingling, so kind of spider thing going on there. Ah, my spider to tingling, come on. And she's like, you're the coolest twins ever in your world, yeah. I like she's overselling it there, yeah. She's like, you're the coolest twins ever, though. Oh, yeah, we are the best twins ever. Yeah, we're the coolest twins ever. You're right, woman. Yeah, we're also cool, yeah. <laughs> Very easy to seduce this, guys, yeah. Yeah, she's like, yeah, this is super easy. I've heard them. Yeah, I tell them they're pretty and they do whatever I want. We truly are the coolest guys after all. <laughs> yeah, now they are super. The fish are in the guild. They are the bad now. How easy this was. Oh, pirates? Yeah. It's him with like. See. So See, so brings like a pirate crew after or something, I guess? Yeah, some hot lasses. I like the different. <laughs> it's a black and red bikini top. Yeah, I like the top is like different colors. It's like yeah, it's a great design, man. It is like old school hot bikinis. But I guess these guys are actually pretty competent then. Really somewhat fast. Yeah, but it means like a freaking you know female pirate crew too. Yeah, like, he has a harem, so he's like I need to have like a wife in pirate crew or something. You know, only hot babes or something. <laughs> he brings like a freaking yeah army of hot pirate ladies. Uh, very good. His harem uh, pirate army. Love it. Love the design though. I mean, it's like very anime pirates. Yeah, they're like super, you know, kind of one piece touch with it. Yeah, they're like super overkill clothing is the one. It's like completely unrealistic, but it works on an anime. Man. Japanese samurai pirate anime. Yeah, oh, this is a danger. I can just know it. <laughs> Here we go. I love this freaking pirate lady. So really, she's so cute with that bikini, man. But yeah, it's un unladylike lady. <laughs> and this like muscular woman with this huge hammer shit. Man, I mean, the animation is really good as always. The animation is fantastic, this anime. Jesus Christ. 
But I love this, like, freaking, you know, <laughs> crazy pirate ladies. Okay, and some random, I guess, lower rank uh, crew members here. In? Just a music choice. Of course, of course, the boyfriend, of course. Oh, yeah. See, this is some high level quote of fact always. But I mean, clearly, these are like nobodies. They have no name. They don't. They, they, I mean, they're just purple hair. Right? She's clearly a high level pirate. These guys have like no purple hair. They're low level pirates yet, yeah. Obviously, the pirate ladies with. I mean, obviously they are way stronger because they're like purple and blonde hair. Yeah, <laughs> it's like the ladies with you know special hair colors like green, purple, and blue. They're clearly much better than you know these random guys. Yeah, come on, these guys are. <laughs> there we go. But this this two are clearly fight, right? He's like, I can't kill a pretty lady though. He's like, you're a slender and you be boobs. <laughs> I can't kill a lady with huge tits. She's like, what? Disrespecting my boobs? Yeah, he's like, what? You looking down on me, boy? Yeah, he's uh, flirt with her, said, yeah. He's like, you're too pretty to kill you, yeah. This woman though, massive hammer though, I like it, yeah, huge like two-handed, nice, yeah, she was not pretty enough to hit her in the face there. He didn't care about her though, because, you know, she was not attractive enough, yeah, she was. So I carry her, no bonking this time. Yeah. We haven't seen the purple hill lady fight yet, though. This of course reminds me of her kids, right? Yeah, exactly. Of course she's like, it's like we were up younglings. And you saved me, Yukimaru, my love. Oh, and it's like, here's some dead end or something. Oh, is it purple hilly? No, it's the other woman with uh, the kind of sniper, I guess, yeah. I'm not gonna carry her right, I gotta jump right. <laughs> I mean, everything there is so well animated, yeah. It's just a little... Whoa, yeah. He actually hits, man. I guess he didn't die, there was... Yeah, this purple is what did. He just didn't care, man. He's too badass. But yeah, I mean, this purple he hasn't fight it. Yeah, so she's clearly even better. Yeah, come on, girl! I can do that later! <laughs> Yeah, it's like, come on, girl! <laughs> I fucked him late and it was later! Yeah, he clearly got hit there by the bullet, uh, obviously, but uh, he's too badass to kill. He's like, whatever. It's just a, this is a bullet wound. It's flesh wound, baby. Yeah, flesh wound. <laughs> Try to be nice to him. He's not nice with girls, man. He's like gonna bonk. Yeah, he's trying to give me a first aid. I'm gonna heal you. He's like, no! Crazy woman, you tried to seduce me. <laughs> he's like, you tried to seduce me, I know. Yeah, now nah, it's gonna be yeah, guilt trip her. It's your fault, Fiona, you yeah, stupid woman. Nah, it guilt trips her. 
Yeah. Think about your action, woman. And she's gonna go all guilty here, of course. Put him in danger. Can't really blame her that much, so she's out shopping her and the twins. Oh yeah, that uh, the marine. Yeah. The brains, I guess, of the operation. It's like Alpha and Omega guy, okay. But I guess it's the brain strike. That's like I got the the strategy going on here. On the flesh wound. That's <laughs> not a bonking. I'm gonna bonk you in this. <laughs> yeah. Got mass bonking going on here. Yeah, the lady pirate crew. Yeah, the badass lady pirate crew appears. But it goes to the twin. <laughs> yeah, nice. Throw him into the Throw him into the water. Nice. But I love. Uh, that's a really cool design, the uh, bad pirates there. Yeah, like the crazy looking. But I like it, it's so animated. Those guys that have, you know, the purple hair and so on, they're gonna be so much stronger. With, <laughs> with like the, the random pirates, like the, you know, the normal black hair, like they're weak, right? Then the purple hair is gonna be amazingly powerful because, yes, you know, different hair color, yeah. Special anime hair color is gonna be a million times stronger than the. And I guess they kill that guy. Maybe, maybe they put it up again. He has changed him. Maybe, right? Or he's gonna. Might pull him around the ship, right? There. Might do the classic. Uh, Shell holding. I don't know if in English. But this baby's probably the strongest, though. Whoa! Some Oppa, I said. Yeah, his wife hit all the scars, man. Yeah, this lady is clearly the strongest, though, right? She's like the, the. You know, the lady. Yeah, the mama pirate crew lady kind of thing. Big mom there. She's definitely gonna be the strongest lady, right? She's like one eyed. Badass red redhead, yeah. She's probably their, you know, the the captain or something, or the leader of them somehow at least. It's not a great episode. The fight was so good. Love the twins are like, oh, you got some big oppa the hot lady. I can't kill you. And then all the ladies is kicked in the face. <laughs> the, the big muscular lady, they, they, she's ugly. You can't kick her in the face. Yeah, she's too ugly to. Be gentle to her. Very, very, <laughs> it's very sexual <laughs> twin steer. Yeah, they're like, we can't treat, you know, the... But seriously, though, like, they, he had no problem, you know, his mother, I guess, but still. They had no problem, you know, kicking the face of that, the fat, ugly lady, basically, right? But the hot young lady, they couldn't hurt her in the face. Now, they were like, oh, you're so beautiful. We can't hurt you. She's like, what? Fight me for real, man, you damn sexy. He's like, ah, come on, you're so pretty. I can't hurt a pretty lady, right? Um... Well, here we go, yeah, evil pirate who enters. Female pirate crew, definitely have to see more of those characters. Yeah, there's too many, yeah. So let's go back to the hot pirate crew. <laughs> but, I, but I just love how, you know, it's just so anime. Here we go, they're, they're freaking bad, they're freaking badass though, they're freaking badass. But I just love how, yeah, you know, it is so anime, I feel, right? That, again, like, they, you know, yeah, the, the purple hair lady, she's like super powerful. The blonde chick, you know, with the bikinis, a different color. I really love the design, I love her her, uh, her outfit. With this black and red bikini top, right? Uh, the red scarf, the hot blonde hair, blue eyes, and this kind of colored skirt kind of thing going on. Really nice outfit, yeah. And then, of course, they had her, you know, that, like, sassy, you know, kind of a rich lady party going on. Like a spider web on her, her neck is so all right. And then got that one-eyed sniper girl. Maybe she isn't one-eyed. Maybe she just has the eye patch to be able to like aim, you know, that kind of way. Yeah, maybe she's like a. Um, but yeah, I just, I just love them, man. Freaking badass pirate crew up here. So they're like, oh, it's like a hot chick, uh, <laughs> hot chick pirate crew. It's all of them is being babes, man. And they're all it's like this really skillful babes fighting, man. Oh, it's beautiful. Um, but the animation though, freaking slick, man. It's always his anime. Freaking slick animation. Like when he fights over here, I think I find a. Yeah, she has its kick, man. Yeah, I mean, it's freaking awesome, man. Like, this is kick thing. Her upper looks huge, but come on, but it looked amazing. This freaking anime is so good, man. This is like badass kick attack, and I mean, it looked, it looked really smooth, right? So the fights was really good. And this character, this bad guy looks. Yeah, this looks like really cool bad guys. 
And of course they have this like, you know, the big mom kind of the senior lady pirate. That's like, yeah, if you're gonna... That is clearly smashing with the navy guy. Like, uh, he's like a British... Yeah, I mean, this episode they finally said it, right? They were from England, so it's like the British navy people. Um, and then you have the sniper girl. But where's the... So before the opening, we have the... I'm talking to the pretty lady, like she's the hottest. Yeah, of course you do see them. That is true though, you do see the pie crew. It's before, yeah, so before you see the hot, uh, the, the hot babe, right? Like the, the red the red top with one eye. Before you see her, it's a quick frame. It's like a second frame, so yeah, you see the the crew, right? We didn't see uh, this guy here, right? the, I think it's a man. Um, he's too flat for a woman, maybe. Yeah, we don't see that guy with the, the black clothing. Um, but it's also a purple... Character or some other character behind the, the other purple lady. Yeah, that's true. Purple dress. I mean, she's purple hair, of course. So, yeah, this has to be her crew, right? Like her, her like elite female pirate crew. Because this is, of course, just before we see her in the bedroom. Yeah, like it's a very very quick frame, and then after this frame, it jumps to her in the her in the sack, right? With him, with the navy guy, with the, like the British uh, navy commander kind of character, whatever he is. I mean, he's something like that. They haven't really explained that. And then, of course, you see her, you know, in her bikini there. There she is, yeah. But I guess she's the captain then, or like the leader of a female pirate crew or something. Something like that, right? But yeah, freaking babe. And then we see her naked later, so. <laughs> but of course, it was like, you know, yeah, it wasn't, you know, it's all from the side, side boobies, yeah. Um, but really interesting. Uh, I love it. I mean, I love all their design. Really, honestly. You, Really cool design, I feel, and all these female pirates. Really good uh, this art design, yeah. I like it. Uh, how they look, the clothing, and so on. Obviously, it's very anime. No one would ever dress that in reality in <laughs> back in the days. But it works, right? It's like a you know fictional pirate anime. Uh, they kind of graced upon us now. Kind of gave us a little more understanding. Free city, England. Kind of gave a little more, yeah, you know, flesh on the actual storyline. Uh, it's just freckles even, the hot blonde babe. That's true. Freaking detail, man. And of course, she got hit and so on. Yeah, and but I love this. But again, I love her design, man. I love her, like, or she's like, ah, come on! Yeah, girls! <laughs> she's like, ah, come on! We can fight them later! There's like the goblin knives. We can be fine, man. They're like rivals. Let's become an evil rival crew. And look at her. Um, she even has skulls, man. Yeah, for her earrings. So it's a very good detail. So the man has very good details. The probably bo most boring girl is the girl with the sniper. Yeah, she's probably the most lamest. She's looks like a typical woman. Yeah, <laughs> she's like probably the least dressed up character they have actually. She kind of has like a normal part of it. The rest of them look crazy. <laughs> the rest of them look just funny. But uh, but anyway, we have more the episode. The great episode. We showed us so much stuff. We see the pirate, um, free city stuff. Um, they clearly after Fina. Uh, he he needs her for the medical stone stuff, right? He's, he's clear. I mean, clearly the British Navy guys they don't care about you know like the freaking harem guy, They're like yeah, whatever. Right? They're obviously there because they want her. He's he knows her though. He looks similar to Fiona. Maybe it's a brother. Who knows? Yeah, maybe they're actually related. He's he's like a blonde British guy, right? Maybe they're related, but uh, but he he needs her for the medical stone stuff, right? Of course, she doesn't care about the goddamn. Uh, Horror guy. Um, it's about the medical weaponry. They probably, I mean, they probably want this weapon to use it against the Spanish or whatever. Right? They probably want some kind of world war. Or, it's probably like a one piece thing in a sense. You know, they want some kind of like uh, ultimate weapon, right? Poseidon and so support in one piece. They want some kind of. Uh, it's probably that that glass stone thing goes to you know like a, a weapon of sort, right? Or, so all the medical stuff, so they're like, we need that to you know, win the war against the other countries. Very, very likely, uh, is that what they care about. Um, but anyway, so he wants to have, they did find a similar looking stone that wasn't as perfect. It was like a, from Germany, yeah, like a glass thing from Germany. It wasn't, you know, as beautiful, it was cracked. It wasn't as like, uh, maybe it's the same thing, for the same material, but it wasn't as, um, uh, how to say it, refined, right? Yeah, it wasn't as refined, the quality wasn't as good. Um, so it probably won't work, right? Um, but there's something that 
that that glass rock thing she has from her father is probably the only perfect example of it. Maybe anything would work with the perfect fit though. Hmm. Um, you see some some marine parts. <laughs> Should be the lighter course, yeah, I can say the lighter team. Um, but I liked that scene though. He was like, Yo, you pay with your booty, lady. Pay with your booty. And, you know, pay with your booty. And uh, then it's fine, right? Booty pirate girls, yeah. Sexy booty pirates, yeah. Pay with your booty. And then, then it's fine, you know, yeah. Um, <laughs> it's like, okay. Uh, <laughs> I was like, yeah, of course. Um, that was awesome. Yeah, booty pirate cruise. <laughs> uh, but anyway, not a great episode. Really, the fight was amazing, yeah. This is so good quality. And uh, it was a good scene though, where Yokimara was like, it's your fault I got injured. Like, you you know, go get real woman, yeah. He's like, you know, next time think about your, your people, right? Yeah, you, I got shot and it's your fault basically. She's like, oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Damn it. Yeah, so it's interesting, right? Gonna make her a little more weird perhaps with the surroundings and so on. She's a very intelligent character, right? Um, something like that. Um, but anyway, see you guys in Dragon Court Detectives are dead. And Butchan coming up in six hours from now. It's a long time from now. But anyway, see you guys and have a great day.